example is given we are in 11th exercise problem or first additional exercise problem in this video of chapter 8 electromagnetic waves the question is suppose that electric field part of an electromagnetic wave in vacuum is given as e is equal to 3.1 newton per coulomb cos 1.8 radian per meter y plus 5.4 into 10 raise to 6 radian per second t in i cap direction what is the direction of wave propagation what is the wavelength lambda what is the frequency what is the amplitude of magnetic field part of the wave and write the expression for magnetic field part of the wave so uh, let us start with the equation what we have is e is equal to i am writing without unit for convenience to identify the terms now this is function of cos which is very much possible uh, it's okay no problem cos 1.8 y and then we have plus sign it is suggestive of something 5.4 into 10 raise to 6 t i cap if i change it slightly 3.1 cos we can continue with no problem then i can write it as 5.4 into 10 raise to 6 t plus 1.8 y y is mere symbol of distance so if I compare it with standard equation of electric field, I realize that uh, I have several terms given. Uh, this is uh, what we use as standard term. So how many things we realize from this? First, that E0 is readily available second we have omega given okay third k is also given and we also have direction available apart from that if wave if you have negative sign wave is uh, going in positive n cap direction as it is positive sign the wave the direction of wave propagation is negative x so first answer is negative x direction is direction of wave propagation uh, what is the wavelength sorry this is the electric field and uh, hence the direction of wave propagation must be y so negative x is uh, for E and negative Y is the direction of wave propagation. For uh, second one that is B, uh, once you have identified the terms it is very easy. K is equal to 2 pi by lambda and what is K value? k is 1.8 okay from the equation we can identify k and uh, that will get us lambda what is frequency again equally easy omega is equal to 2 pi f and uh, we have omega given which is 5.4 into 10 raised to 6 right what is the value of uh, magnitude of magnetic field? So, again, the standard uh, relation between E0 and B0 we can use. Do we have E0? Yes, E0 is also available. It is 3.1. So, uh, that much is clear. Now, uh, what about magnetic field equation? So, if you have uh, e as E0 sine omega t minus kx 
then b equation can be written as b0 sin omega t minus kx in this case the direction is uh, negative x so uh, what we can do is in this case our e equation is e0 cos ky plus omega t and then you can write b as b0 cos ky plus omega t so once you substitute all the values of b0 k and omega you will get equation of b okay so substitute values and uh, get equation of magnetic field thank you